everybody. It is hard to believe we are just a week and a half away from Thanksgiving. And whether yours looks like a traditional Walton's family Thanksgiving, or maybe you're more like the hilarious take on Turkey Day from Saturday Night Live. Your house may be overflowing with family and friends or a small group around the table this year. Chances are you want there to be lots of cheer and happy memories for everyone who is surrounding your table this special time of year. And nobody could get us ready for Thanksgiving more than my friend Michael Seward from Signature Home. Uh, love it when you come, Mike. And you have brought some gorgeous things today. Happy fall, y'all. Happy fall, y'all. It's you know, here. That's, that's what it's about. It's adding little touches that make your home so festive for the holidays. Absolutely. Whether you layer things uh, with decorative elements or with aromas, that kind of thing, it's all about creating moments throughout your house, you know, as you receive guests for Thanksgiving. Start just, I don't know if you have seen it yet. We might not have a wide enough shot yet, but these decorative fireplace screens. We carry are a variety gorgeous. of these fireplace screens. You can do something a little more traditional. Um, you can do something a little more modern like this. I have one of these in my home. This one here is a little more modern. And you have three different finishes. You have the iron, mm -hmm. the, 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 the brown, the bronze. You have silver, and then you have gold. So that there's a little bit something for everybody when it beautiful. comes to fireplace screens. And it's mm -hmm. better than just looking into a fireplace and seeing the logs. We're layering that fireplace and creating. Again, the whole layering Exactly. Uh -huh. I like to use this uh, mirror tray here in the middle as a centerpiece. And then mm -hmm. as you put it, you can put an arrangement on here. It reflects that. It, it makes your arrangement look a little larger. I kind of like that. Yeah. You know, we all are missing somebody at the holidays. So you can get a picture of somebody, put them in the middle of your table. So they're there with you as well. What a sweet idea. Yeah. I thought for a minute that I know you like words. And I, I thought for a minute that was one of your words. I should have put a picture actually, of somebody in yes. there, but <laughs> we'll do that. I carry a great gift line at my store called Michael Aram. And look at these great gourd salt and pepper shakers. That is beautiful. Aren't those great? And we have the corn as well. Oh, I love that. Isn't that great? You've got your rose gold going on there, too. Yeah, they come gift wrapped or gift boxed and, then, and we wrap them. So it's a really beautiful. nice quality gift. This is a They're great gift heavy. to give somebody. And we have the corn holders that match love the salt and pepper that. shakers. Oh, that is really nice. Isn't that great? Oh, that's beautiful. We have fall leaves. These are iron that you can put in a bookcase, you can put on a coffee table, on, on a console table. It um, just puts the, it just sets the whole fall thing. It does, it? and that little metallic of gold just pops a little bit from the bronze that we're so used to. And then the preserved greens. I mean, you can take a look at this, how the oranges and the golds pop off of the green. These are good for any time of the year, but I especially love the preserved palms in the or the preserved boxwoods in the fall. Yeah, that's just beautiful. I really beautiful. like those. Now you've got some gorgeous uh, bowls back here. You know, too. as you're as you're setting your buffet tables, your your mm -hmm. your with your food, it's great to have colors: green, red. You know, as opposed this. to the same old Tupperware or stainless steel bowls that we use today. Yeah. It's nice to have something a little more decorative. As far as your dinnerware, it's nice to layer this as well. As opposed to the same color, it's yes. nice to to change up the color a little bit and see again we're layering and it pops just a little bit can I lift this too because if you can it's really heavy so beautiful oh it is heavy <laughs> it could that be a cake stand, stand but you can layer your things on a buffet table so everything's not so flat and you know again sometimes we put Tupperware steel stainless steel bowls on the table and we put fabric over and it's nice to have something maybe a little more decorative maybe something a little more knobs. special look at those balls aren't those the, great yeah. yeah like a big marble gosh that's beautiful Love it. So we have that as well. And you have something going on here now with a pump. We are going to make a little something real quick. I like to think outside the box a little bit, so I carved this pumpkin earlier. I'm going to just walk off set for a second and put this down. So I brought some succulents in today. And um, I've already filled the pumpkin up with a little dirt. What I like about these succulents is that they are hardy, so... I see flowers, people put flowers in these a lot, but when you bring them in, mm -hmm. they can dry out fairly fast. And these succulents are fairly hardy. And you love the succulents. We've talked about them before. I, I do. I do. In the store, I carry some fake succulents, and they look really great because these kind of look plastic. I found one that kind of trails over here, which is kind of nice. Oh, that is nice. Isn't that super? And then just some little moss to fill in some of the holes here. Look at you. Around here. 
And this would be a great centerpiece. And again, as opposed to flowers that are going to dry out, you could mist this and it could stay nice and fresh for, for many weeks. And then when the pumpkin's ready to go, because he's going to start to smell, yeah. you can uh, take these succulents and put them in your, in your yard. We have succulents at our home around our swimming pool and they live through the winter and some of them flower. They're very, very pretty. So you can just transplant them then to your yard? Absolutely, yeah. So you're not just throwing away money on flowers that you're not going to use. But isn't that lovely? That is beautiful. Something a little different. I, and I love how that hangs over. Yeah, just trying to find some different heights and, and different pieces. But uh, your local garden shop will have a great variety of succulents these days. And, you know, you're right. We, we've seen the pumpkins with the flowers in her before. And that, that's all pretty. But this is so different. It's unique. I Something love a little different. That. We didn't talk gorgeous. about these candles, these nest candles that I have. This is called pumpkin chai. Oh, it's just fabulous. Doesn't that smell great? It is wonderful. Mm. We do quite well with the nest. The nest candles, yeah. And that is a scent that will linger in your house. It will. We have holiday scents when that one's done for Christmas. Yes, yes. <laughs> Well, this looks just absolutely wonderful. What is your uh, best advice for the person who is going to be the host for the, the Thanksgiving feast? You know, I see a lot of people freaking out that they have to host a lot of people, but people are just there to, to, to spend time with you, your relatives, your friends. A lot of times it's people we haven't seen for a while. So just relax and have a good time and don't don't overthink things and don't work too hard. Don't, don't hesitate asking for help. I know if I go to someone's house, I love to jump in and help them. Right. And they expect me to. Right. You know, I help make things look pretty. You know, <laughs> find a friend that's really good at this kind of stuff and say, hey, can you come over an hour before and help me out? You know, and it'll take some of the stress off. Just don't stress out and relax and enjoy your family and enjoy your friends. I think that sometimes the, the meal gets away and, and people start to leave and you, you feel like, Oh, I didn't get to visit. I Absolutely. Didn't get to do, and then, and then that makes you a little bit sad it, because we do stress out too much about it, don't we? We do. The whole point is just to be together. It'd be together, and like I said, ask for help, and and everybody can, and, and that's that's some good quality time too. Certainly is. Well, Michael Seward, you are always full of wonderful ideas, and uh, you can visit Mike at his store on Fury's Ferry Road, Signature Home. It's in the Bilo Shopping Center on Fury's Ferry. Yeah. And you've got all kinds of exciting things coming up with the store. Lots of things. We're Lots expanding of things spring on. of next year. We'll have a big new store about three times the size we are now. So we'll have a lot more stuff. That's great. And you can visit Mike's store and not only pick up things like this, but you have fabrics. We do a lot of custom sewing, of rugs lamps, rugs, that you have. Mm -hmm. everything. Yes, pillows. I particularly love the time when you brought the outdoor carpet that was painted. Yes, the, yes. Oh. Those, are, those are really popular. Really yeah. nice. I've installed probably a dozen of those in the last month. You know, it's people love nice. them. They're, yeah, they're great. <laughs> well, you've got it all there, and you can find out more about Michael and how to contact him on our website. Just go to WJBF.com and click the Jenny link. And still to come on Jenny, a vendor market and craft fair you don't want to miss. Williston, South Carolina is your one-stop shopping